How? The, the, the eggs. They're done. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, snake! Oh. So, back from the dead? Mm, uh, I don't remember the sun being so flat. <laughs> Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. <laughs> and would you make some for Snake, too? PMC soldiers all went haywire in mass, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped.
No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Uh, um, here you go. Uh, thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. Sonny! You really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized, either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's Liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Dye. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Dye was incorporated, inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Dye works. Quit's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. Sunny decoded it for us. Remember now? This is data from the Soliton radar you used at Shadow Moses. I'm guessing Naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Solitone radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, 
Following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet too. I suspect it was actually Liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamont, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of Liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. Four four. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 four four to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. Mm. Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. A commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Patriots, you mean. The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. 
You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now. Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. He must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid Safe House. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano-machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it.
Otacon. What the hell? That was Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up... Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kinda got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually... I kind of based it on some design Sunny snagged off the net. And the data came from... DARPA? Huh. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry. I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Head for the research lab where Nick. Stand up! Hey, huh? Huh? Come on, wake up! Huh? Get the weapon and move!
Come on, wake up. Hey. Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary! Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity. All without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. He's Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss, and one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah, lucky me, huh? huh. Now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Merrill the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Merrill and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Merrill wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, 
Call Rosemary if you ever need advice. What's going on? What's up with you? Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Sniper. Keep your eyes open. Keep low and stay behind cover.
Radar. It'll tell you where to go. We're getting nowhere. Go, go, go. Back me up. Yo, over here. Come on, hop in. It's getting rough out there. I don't think so. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location.
Figures. The B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers. Belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female? Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drebin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Uh, old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post-traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. Deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is, their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Four B&Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, the Master of Mimicry, the Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, Mistress of mind control, screaming mantis. Mantis? Yeah, there used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound unit. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Drebin. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Patriot. <sighs> You could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nanomachines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these Patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formless. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America. 
the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning. But now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriot's AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Get your ass back inside. Now! I have you.
Snake, can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matkapluku. Matkapluku? Big Mama. <clears throat> we'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait. What about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Uh, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone, and Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it, to move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake.
He there? Very nice! That's how you do it. Careful! Thanks! Charge! Charge! You got my back? Cover! have got an armored dozer. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Proceed immediately. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is.
Then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Yes, that's right. We'll need another go at it. That won't be a problem. Uh-huh. Yes. And things on your end? I see. We're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> Snake. 
I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? Nine. And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? I see. Who were you just talking to? Liquid. Although I suppose he's really Ocelot. From a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. He's not, at the moment. Where are all the guards? They know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Huh. And we were right. But only partially. SOP had another function. To control people's senses. The nanomachines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldiers' nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least, it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent. Every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in 
complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager, Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war was like a game to them. And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. For a mind lacking that essential experience, it was simply too much to bear. But what about me? I've never been under the system's control. That's why I want to examine your body. You need to know, too. All right, Snake. Undress. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. Snake, do you remember what I told you in my video mail about the first generation of nanomachines? Hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yes. The nanomachines are recharged by your body heat. They won't stop functioning until they're all Just extracted. Relax. Or until you do. Most of them were lost through bleeding and excretion, but around 30% still remain inside your body, That's attached enough. to your cells. I'm not finished yet. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nanomachines. Ready? But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Hmm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Dye, too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the Clotho gene, was intentionally mutated as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, like liquids, were provided with terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. Why? Your clones created for one purpose, war. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. It was a safety device to ensure that the seed of Big Boss didn't end up in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease or faulty research or fox dye. It's how you were born. It's your natural lifespan.
to hold out. Your cells, blood, organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. How long do I have? Half a year. <sighs> Don't. Snake. There's something I have to tell you. Uh, now what? You and I both know your body is approaching its limit. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? We can't get rid of the fox die in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox die only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. I know. That's what killed the AT president. And Liquid. Yes. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from the virus's harmful effects. Here. I'll show you. The receptors on the fox dye inside your body are breaking down. The rapid aging process is changing the environment within your body. As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. The viruses on the left are fox dye in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. They're already mutated. The receptors. They're wearing down. Meaning? This mutated version of fox dye could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern doesn't perfectly match the receptors. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate about what type of target it kills. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox dye has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers of victims. What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body? There are no antibodies either. I don't know what percentage of the receptors have to break down, or how many people will be targeted when that happens. But what is certain is that people will begin to catch fox dye through airborne transmission. It'll start with those closest to you. Then, one by one, they'll lose their lives. The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about... Half a year. No. Three months at the most. Three months? <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? You've spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear, from nuclear annihilation. And now, you're becoming a doomsday device yourself. I can't predict exactly how devastating the epidemic will be. Whether just one percent of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, whether we all can. In either case, three months from now, you'll be a walking biological weapon. If it were up to me, you'd be quarantined already. Uh, 
It's not over yet. I know. You still have a job to do. You have three months. Still enough time to think once all of this is done with. And if I choose death first, will that stop Fox Die from spreading? When the host dies, the virus dies with it. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. It's a new strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in you recently. Do you have any idea who? Him. The new fox dye strain is starting to multiply rapidly. What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Here, take this. It contains the same substance the soldiers' nanomachines secrete inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate the senses. The nanomachines inside the body malfunction when the system interferes with them. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get bad. It's potent, so use it sparingly, unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psyche for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nanomachines and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself, we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. I can't slip free. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you free me. Do we know? Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being... watched. <sighs> Liquid has altered his plan. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Patriots? This place isn't safe. Come with us. This way.
Snake, you'll have to break through to go after Naomi. Take out those enemy soldiers and clear a path. Come <laughs> on. 
Naomi? Uh, but why? Yes. It's another mimic. Watch out, Snake. Beyond my control. <laughs> Their will <laughs> is the will of the battlefield. <laughs> her suit. Who knows what she'll throw at you next. Watch out! <laughs> Ha 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 
Your snake. Looking good today. Driven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Hey, it's my job. Is that the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy on me? I prefer the term customer data management myself. Driven. Relax. It's strictly confidential. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <sighs> she just kept on laughing. Now why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway... There's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village, with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill him. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no? They'd kill her too. So she let fear take control and did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved and laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood, it gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her, it looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? Nah. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back.
Snake, have you lost sight of the target? Whenever something moves, it leaves a trail behind. Track and find Naomi's trail. I'm not like Big Boss. Tracking isn't my strongest suit. When did you get so good at it? After saving Sonny, I drifted around the globe. In Alaska, a tribal elder taught me some scouting techniques. Drifted? You never went back to see Rose? Rose? She doesn't exist. No. Rose and I live in different worlds, different times. Her world has no place for someone like me. My place is here on the battlefield. Huh. Listen, Snake. Scouting is based on the principles of hunting. There are two fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Awareness? Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means to follow that trail. Your target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, bent grass trampled underfoot. You need to feel for clues using all your senses. Sound, smell, touch, the direction of the wind. Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual bird calls. These are signs that someone may be disrupting the environment nearby. You sound like a ninja. Exactly. Ninja are the ultimate scouts. If your enemy is a skilled scout, they'll be doing the same thing. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunted. To avoid enemy detection, move slowly, little by little. Don't disturb the air around you. Try to make as little noise as possible. Your pursuers will be doing the same, trying to sneak up on you without a sound. If you can't pick up the trail with your naked eye, switch the solid eye to infrared mode. That will enable you to see Naomi's footprints and any enemies lying in ambush. Switch the solid eye to infrared. Got it. But the sound it makes while engaged could end up giving your position away. So don't leave it on for too long. All right. Listen to your heart. Trust your senses as much as you can. And you will find Naomi's trail. I'll give it a shot. Snake, follow Naomi's trail and find out where they took her. Watch out, though. You might run into a few holdups along the way. Snake, the trail splits up into multiple directions. Look closely at the footprints. Looks like they split up here. You think that could be Naomi's?
That's weird. Naomi's shoe prints just vanish, but just hers. Wait a minute. It's the solid eye. The sound is giving your position away. Take cover, Snake. What? <laughs> hey! They must have gone separate ways here.
I'm Yeah, and they're taking Naomi away. Go ahead. Begin. We'll use his blood. It could get intense. Brace yourselves. Shots, all of you. Yes, sir. I'll be taking in.
live? Rebin. Get in already. Chopper to the other side of the market up ahead. That's as close as I can get. You've got to make it to the market somehow. Oh, Snake, to fire the machine gun, stand next to it and press the action button. Then use the right stick to aim and press the attack button to fire. Watch your aim, Snake. Oh, shit! are in our way! Take them out, Snake! Damn it, Snake! PMC soldiers are in our way! Do something, Snake! Don't bother using normal guns. You'll have to get up close and personal to deal with them. Try to ram you. Don't let them get 
with the gate! Get out of here! Can you move? 
Yes. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Thank 
you. <laughs> Yet again, our paths cross. me.
boss, she got away. Are you sure about this? It's all part of the plan. The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. We need all of him. The PMCs we deployed have suffered brain damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. It's only a matter of time. We're working as fast as we can to find their hiding place. I need you here too. Be immortal. No, he's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? What do you mean? The nano machines in his body cause his wounds to close and heal at an accelerated rate. Someone took the basic nano machine technology I once researched and perfected it. In a sense, I'm responsible for Bam. He's one of my sins. Does your body have the same nano machines? I brought a monster into this world. Right. Hold him down. He's losing too much blood. Can you save him? I don't know. He needs a blood transfusion. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake, right? 